So these are big tops, right? Or we use red tops, which is anticoagulated blood. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so you can see he actually removed all the labels. So with the patient information. So when you sample, can order somebody, what, what, are the, what is the first thing you do? Check patient information. Right, you want to check, make sure you, um, get the right. you get the right patient with the right request and all of that, right? So usually the request will come in as what? Type and screen. Type and screen. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, usually two units of blood. Okay. So that's usually the request. Now, so then what is next? Once we have checked, we got the right specimen, right patients, is signed, mm -hmm. right? The blood bank specimen must be signed in order for it to be processed. Mm -hmm. If it's not signed, you can accept it. Okay? So so all of that is good. What is the next thing we do? Mm. You prepare the reagents or do the controls? Well, your controls are good. Okay. Usually, that's the first thing you do before you start doing anything. Oh, you, you centrifuge it. Centrifuge. So this has to be centrifuge for five minutes, okay, 20 Gs. Then once you have centrifuge, what do you do next? By the meantime, it's centrifuging, you're not wasting time. What would you do? Remove the serum from the red cell, blood blood cell. It's not done yet. You're still centrifuging. Oh, um, you are prepare the um, test tubes. Testing. Uh, no. The There's something else you're going to do. You label the test tubes, right? No. Before that, all of that. Mm. You check for and uh, the patient information to see um, when last um, they have a transfusion and then what they have been through. Right. If there is anything on the patient's record, right? right. Yeah. You're going to do the patient's history. What is the history of the patient? So you're going to go look it up, whether you do it in the computer or you do it and your files that you have in the lab. You can use a file and then you take five by eight cards with and everything the patient, uh, if the patient was in the hospital prior to that time, everything will be recorded. So all you have to do is go, say the patient last name uh, is Jose, then you go for Jose and you're gonna find a lot of Jose's, so you're gonna have to match Medical record number, date of birth, and all of that to get the right Jose. And, uh, verify that that's the patient if there is one. And so you look at that and see what was done on the patient. Was the patient transfused? Was there antibodies? Was there a workup for antibodies? What's the patient's uh, blood group and all of that? <clears throat> all right, so you have all of that information. Patient. <clears throat> Let's say the patient is not. This is the first, <coughs> first <coughs> visit. Sorry. What's next? Mm. Well, obviously, this first visit, you would have to fill out a card for the patient also. So that's understandable as you go through the process. So what's next now after that? Then you start labeling your tubes. Start labeling. So you are doing type and screen. How many tubes do you need? Five. Oh, I know. Seven. Six. Three for typing and three for screening. Three for typing? Three for front typing. Front typing. And two for back typing. Back typing. Three for back typing. And then two three for... for the screening. Two for the screen. You're going to label it as such. I had it on the board last time. I hope you wrote it down. Right? So, everybody did that. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know how to label your tubes. And you have 
right? Everybody's got Sharpies to label. You gonna use Sharpies to label, yes? Right. So you're gonna label, right? A, B, D, right? A1, B1, mm -hmm. and screen one, screen two. You also have to run an auto control. So there's a, and one extra two, so we're gonna put that in there. Okay. Auto control is very simple. It's one drop of the patient's cells and one drop of the patient's serum. Okay. That's why we call it an auto control. What, what is that for, though? It's just to make sure that patient cells is not agglutinating with the serum. With his own serum? Yes. Okay. So that's your auto control. So you have okay. to put one more tube. So, right, so now it's now eight tubes. So your auto control, you just put A E T O A, right? You're gonna write what it should be. All right, so your blood is uh, it's finished spinning. What do you do next? You remove the serum from the resin. Hmm? Right, you're gonna separate out, right? So this is what I spun already, right? So I'm very carefully I'm going to remove as much of the right, and I need to, and I'll have to label this too together with this. Say it's for this patient, right? So I'm going to remove. I don't want to remove it totally. I want to leave a little bit in there, okay? Because I need to get some cells now because I have to wash. Give me one more tube from there, please. So this will have to be labeled. And then this is actually taped. So you'll take a piece of tape and wrap it around here and tie it onto this. So you don't lose it and you have to label it also, right? So see, I leave a little bit of serum in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break the cells up like that. See what I just did? See that? And I'm gonna take a few drops. I wanna get bubbles in here, right? But be very careful, you don't want too many, right? So I'm going to take about that much. Because, so what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to make what? So I'm taking like about four or five drops. Let's say we take five drops of this. What is this for now? Wait, so because when you, when you mix it with the, with the serum and the plasma, that red blood cell now also has the antibodies. What's your first lab? Uh, red blood suspension. You're gonna have to go make a cell suspension. Can we use that blood there, just like that, to to no. do the typing? It's gonna be too much, yes. right? You saw we did cell counting. How many millions of cells are there in just a microliter? Do you know how much is there? Right. Probably, right? Hundreds of millions. So, to make your cell suspension, how many times do you have to wash it? Look at your lab. Now is, now is the lab. Two times. What does it tell you? So we need saline to wash it. Three to five percent. That's the percent of cells. That's the cellular cell. Three to five percent cell suspension. Does it give you here? Let me see that. Point nine percent. Yeah, you're using 0.9% saline, right? Uh, so you want to put, right, it's telling you how much, add point saline. Uh, all right, so this has to be washed. It doesn't say that there. Um, you could wash it. It's better when I, when, to wash it because you want to remove it. I leave a little bit of plasma in there. So you want to wash this once. Only one wash, okay? And washing is very simple, right? Okay. Um, where's my saline bottles? So you want a saline, bring it over here, please. Run down the hall, see if you find Alex, tell him to, to come over here, please. Point nine percent saline, there's none. No, so it's still water and 